So here is a Zalando app. Uh, it's an online shop for clothing. <clears throat> I don't know whether it's available worldwide. I think it's uh, available for sure in Scandinavian countries like Sweden, Denmark, I don't know, Norway, Finland. Um, and yeah, this is quite a good app. <clears throat> I was just using it and like compared to other apps like Boost or Azos or some other ones, this one seems to be quite reliable. So basically, if you're ordering some clothing in Denmark, uh, yeah, so for example, let's just open it up. You just see here, you can just see all the types of uh, clothing here. And then, yeah, you can just uh, discover that. Uh, so it's nice, easy design. And there are a lot of brands here, which are, you know, they're like Nike and, you know, some popular items from like top brands are here. Not, not, all, not all of the items from all the brands are here, but I guess just the most popular ones. So it's also quite convenient. So sometimes, you know, if you want to buy like Hoka sneakers, whatever, on, on the Zalando app, they sometimes can be even cheaper than in original Hoka web shop. So yeah, and then you just have search. Uh, it's quite easy. Then you have your likes, then you have your shopping back, and then you have your account. Um, so, yep, that's the idea. And then the cool part about this, uh, when you order in it, the delivery is quite fast. So it's just in, depending where you live, like in Denmark, it takes like two days um, on average, two, three days. It's And if you order more than like $50 or so, uh, then it's a free delivery, which is also nice. Um, and then the coolest part is that there is some nice return policy. Uh, uh, so when your packages are delivered, there is like a return label. So your return shipping is kind of paid. And then you have like 100 days to return it. Um, and then it seems it's quite liberal. I, I didn't try, but for example, I ordered some sneakers. They weren't. They were one size above. Uh, I even wear them and just try them. But then I figured out, okay, these sneakers are one size above. In some other stores, it wouldn't be possible already to re return them back because you know I already tried them. Not not much, but just a bit. But this here, you easily just go. You put your return label, send them back, and then yeah, it's a very quick refund and all of that. So yeah, this kind of makes sense. Uh, yeah, this is, I had like a positive experience. I don't know whether it always works like that, but uh, seems okay. And also if you want like express shipping, uh, it's uh, you just need to pay additional like uh, uh, 10 euro deliver or something, and then you will instantly get your, uh, get your package almost next day or something around that. So yep, that's basically the idea of the app. Um, and it's quite, quite reliable. Um, uh, I think they're just pushing a big marketing campaign right now. There are a lot of ads and um, yeah, compared to some other apps here in the Nordic region, like Boost and Azos, Zalanto seems to be more stable and has the, the bigger selection of like brands and uh, yeah, the items are quite always available here. So that's just what you have. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what it is. I don't know, probably it's not that popular in US, but maybe, you know, maybe it's a German brand, I don't know. But if you're in Europe and you're trying to shop for, for, uh, for clothing online, that's one of the good apps out there.